Ahoy, salty dogs! Lens Cap here, and today we are playing Star Maid. Can I, uh, do this thing? No. Uh, there's gotta be a way to look at my own character, right? Without sitting down. What's up? I'm still Dave! <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Uh, I'm doing well. I hope you're all doing well. Um, I, uh, uh I've been absent for the last couple days, uh, from YouTube, and, um... You know what happens from time to time. Sometimes real life stuff gets in the way of uh, of our fun stuff here um, that we do, and that's uh, that's all I'm gonna say about that. But um, I appreciate you guys for tuning in today. So we have finished our shipyard. Well, our shipyard is functional. <laughs> uh, it is finished by no means. Um, let's see, what else have I done, though? Uh, I have yet to interact with it, actually. I got power enough going to support it. As you can see, there's nothing red popping up. That's good. Framed out a little bit of frames on the space station. Uh, got the factories working. Um, I still have yet to use this storage room. It may disappear shortly. These factories may disappear as well. All of this power may disappear also. Who knows? Everything is moving. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's look at the framing that I've done a little bit. We hopped in a build block. So initially I had this one hanger big enough for two of these guys about, um, or several small craft, which I liked. I think that's cool. And then I thought, well, what if I want two hangers? I could put another hanger here. There's room. There's plenty of room. I'd have to move that junk or sandwich it between the floor and still put another hanger here. That's possible. I like that. Um, I, I would like to do that. I would like to have a second hanger here. Um, I think the way to go about it, though, is to remove this hanger and factory and stuff and then build our hangers one at this level going up. And then one, maybe the same level, maybe higher. It just depends on how big the bottom one is. But I think two hangers would make more sense. I mean, this this is a shipyard. It's for construction. It's not really a base. Uh, but it's kind of a base. Anyway, I also uh, framed out the shape that I want for this part. So it's going to be like this. I want blue. I want to find some blue. Now... I searched around for several hours. Um, I flew around every system that I've claimed, all three of these. I explored every chunk, maybe not every chunk, but I explored most um, of every whoops asteroid belt. And I cannot find a blue asteroid at all. I can't find one anywhere. I have no idea what to do. <laughs> Um, so I, I don't have a renewable way to get blue paint. I went and bought a bunch. Let's see if I've got in the factory still. Um, I went and bought some. I have two left. Blue hull, blue standard armor. I'm making, whoops, took a screenshot. I'm making a blue advanced armor, but I don't have the materials, man, to do it. I've only got like a couple hundred, uh, blocks of it. But I wanted my station blue. I wanted some blue going on. There's a purple one. Um, so tell me what you think about the layout of this. Should we tear it down and start over? I think I'd like that better. Um, so I was thinking uh, I was thinking the two hangar bays like that. Um, factory we definitely still need. But maybe we kick it off the edge here. Off the side. Off the back side. Maybe here. And then we put some like storage tanks here. Um, and that's what we keep our fuel and our uh our like our energy and uh like the what are they called the factory enhancers keep all that stuff in those storage tanks um i think that would be really cool and i think that would uh, uh i think that would work for us um so that's probably the direction i'm gonna go with this um let me know what you think in the comments if you think that's cool if you think that's a good idea um whatnot there uh, okay, let's move on with today's episode. So, I want to work on the pirate ship some more. I really want to do some work on the B, uh, to be honest. Um, I, I would like to work on the B, but the B episodes, they take so much, like, pre-planning and work, because I have to get all the, uh, the logic and the rails and stuff together and figured out and resolved and everything, and I'm stuck in a block. I just teleported into this ship. 
What is happening? F? Can I target? What is it? Tab F8? Exit structure before using this. I'm not in a structure, sir! I'm not in a structure, my friend. I'm trapped. Oh my gosh, my comp my train of thought is completely... Okay, wait. Wait. Oh, I c yes, I'm free! Haha, <laughs> I had to dig myself out. Uh, let's just... Oh. We'll just do this. I know they're not actually attached to the ship anymore, but whatever. They're, uh... <laughs> this ship is having a problem anyway. Okay, where was I? The B ship takes so long, and I just don't have the time today to do a B episode. Um, but I, I will have one soon. I'll have one come out soon. Um, I really want to get those front legs figured out, and I think I finally have an idea for the doors. Yeah, oh yes, that's right. Whoa, my jump drive was not charged. Why did I jump? That was cool. Where did I go? Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Why is this being weird? Okay, anyway, we're going to work on the pirate ship today. Um, I want to throw some missile pods. Plot path to current. Uh, I want to throw some missile pods um, on the sides. Um, and I have an idea for how I want to do those. So we're going to uh, jump back to the pirate ship. As soon as I get my jump drive charged, we're going to get started on the missile pods. Um, I kind of want them hanging off the sides. Okay, here we are at the pirate ship. Um, I've gathered some materials. Let's uh, let's hop into build mode, and we'll take a look at uh, kind of potential locations for our missile pods here. Um, I've got a few ideas, but uh, let's let's take a look and see what we come up with. Um, I'm thinking we want them down on the bottom, maybe not the very bottom, but like like f between here and here. Uh, but we want them kicked out far enough so they don't hit this armor. I mean, obviously they aren't going to, um, uh, because of the way that this game does physics, but, um, you know, we, we want to pretend like it's realistic at least. They could hang off the side here. They could stick out a little bit here and hang down like this. That actually could work. And then the engines, like the intake, will be even further out than that. Because you don't want the exhaust, obviously, from your missile pods going right into your engine intake. Um, not that there's anything to intake in space. I don't know why we always put intakes on our space engines. Uh, I don't know. Maybe they are hydrogen collectors and they, the reactors use those to... Whatever. It doesn't matter. It's a video game. Let's, uh, <laughs> uh, let's get started on some missile pods. Um, I think we'll build with gray standard armor f just to start, and then we'll add other colors. Um, I would like to put some brown shell on them, probably. I'm um, going with the hull here. And actually, before we do that, I want to try something. I want to do a stripe on this. Uh, where can I... P I want to put a red stripe. Let's see. What if we just do... Straight down, like, let's see, here's my red. How did that get placed there? That's weird. Okay. And I'll do the wedges also, but I just want to see how this looks. If we just do a red stripe. And then, let's see, we want to continue it. So I think this, whoops, whoops, is the next one here and yeah I can go whoa 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 I meant to take that one and it can go all the way around make a circle all the way around um definitely need the wedges in there let's go ahead and add these wedges and we're not doing the whole stripe we're just taking a look see Okay, I, I just wanted to add a little bit of detail um, to uh, to this armor because it's really lacking. It's really flat. Okay, the red stripe is cool. What if we do... Um, we've got that. Now, what if we do, like, three? 
and do um, kind of like a racing stripe, kind of. I mean, we're not racing or anything. It's Yeah, that's going to be cool. I think I'm going to like it. Let's get this whole thing in here. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, stop doing that lens cap. Let's get this whole stripe going. <laughs> I said missile pods and now we're painting. <laughs> Uh, what a, uh, what a juxtaposition of thoughts. Uh, hmm. Okay, now how are we gonna do this part? We'll just, we'll figure it out. We'll do, uh, we'll do the solid blocks first, just the regular squares first. And then, uh, we'll move on from there. So that one, that one, that one. Uh, okay. How do we feel about this, guys? I think it's a cool idea. I think I'm liking it. What about it? Um, maybe not, after all. Let's finish. Let's finish it up. You know, maybe we'll end up liking it more once it's all the way uh, put in there. Let's see. Let's do our wedges. I think I have this... Yeah, I've got this wedge selected now. Whoop. We want that block there, sir. And do we need to swap out that? Yeah, we kind of do. Which one is it? Uh, that wedge. Okay. Okay. I'm digging it. Are you digging it? What do you think? Oh, undo. Oh, what? Undo. That was... My mouse is acting funny. Okay. And this piece. And we'll do this piece. Okay, now we need uh, these wedges. And I found that if you kind of angle yourself, then it's easier to pick the right wedge. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, I, oh yes. I'm liking this. Let's back up. Okay. Yes. I like that. Um... I almost would rather it be here instead. Well, I'm not sure. I like it where it is. Maybe we do something else here, though. See, that big skull right there would be great, but I don't want to have a skull there and one here. They're just too close together. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll figure out more details as we go about. Let's do the top of this as well while we're... Oh, uh, since we're doing it, since we like the idea, we may as well uh, do the whole thing, you know, right? Go big or go home, is what they say. Do they actually say that? I say that. And it is, uh, it is something that I really like to apply to my everyday life, you know, either do it. If you're going to do it, then do it right. You know, go big or go home. Um, and that's kind of part of why I haven't been recording much lately. Okay, let's, uh, I'm going to finish up this stripe because I really want to get this done before I forget about it. And we'll move on to missile pods. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's figure out how we want these shaped. Um, I kind of want them angly. Definitely want them angly. I want them to stick out a little bit. I kind of had this idea for this to be a window, um, and maybe there's like a crew quarters or like a meeting room or something right here, um, and maybe the elevator from the hangar comes up right here, and then there's something else on this side to mirror it, or maybe not. The insides don't matter just yet. Um, I also kind of wanted to have something hanging down right here. I'm uh, not sure what I want there yet, though. So, let's figure out the missile pods. That's what we're doing here. Um, if we're going to go with this being a window, it could be cool to... 
Let's see. Let's plop some more blocks down. It could be cool if we did something like... Let's just make this a flat wall for now. Oh, you know what? Then this detail kind of gets lost. We could push it out one. Yeah, let's let's do that. And that kind of preserves that detail. I like that. Uh, and uh, you'll see what I mean when I say it's going to preserve that detail. So uh, Pushing it out probably doesn't make sense, actually. Maybe we, it needs to go back. It needs to go in. Uh, to truly preserve it properly. Okay, but whatever. We're going to worry about details. This is what I was talking about. I get too into the details too early. Okay, uh, but missile pod. So, uh, you know, that's not bad if it comes out. That That's cool. And we're going to hide most of this wall with a missile pod anyway, so we'll definitely put detailing on this wall too, but... Uh, we'll worry about that once we've got missiles in place. Let's just do this. And then cut off the extras. Okay, um... So I wanna... I wanna kind of... Uh, I wanna kinda come out with it, so... What if we did, like... Let's see. Let's put them. Let's put it here, and we'll go one, two, three, four, five, like that. One, two, three, four, five, and then what if we pull these in? Three, four, five, kind of like that. Um, we'll have to pull this. In as well. So for the effect that I want, these will have to do uh, heptas, which I have. So like that. And like, uh, where's the, that one, I think? Whoops. Like that. Okay, yes. And this will be three then. So we've got, uh, there's one, and then a second layer, and then here's a third layer. Uh, and this will be pushed back as well. And you'll see where I'm going with this, and I think you'll like it once you, uh, once you see where we're taking it. Okay, let's take out these guys because we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom with the uh, with the wedges. Oh, whoops! I missed. So we'll put it there. That's cool. Uh, we need hepta next, and we'll put these in the corners here. Like, uh, I think that's the one we need for here, though. Oh, no, I'm wrong. It does go there, indeed. And just make sure that's the right shape. It appears to be. Okay, and we'll need the one on this side. That's this one. Yep. Not there, sir. There. We'll need to put in our wedges along the sides as well. And I haven't done this. I'm not sure if this is going to look cool, but... So it kind of cuts out a little bit. Okay, I like that. Okay, I like that. And then let's take... Do I have gray advanced armor? Interesting. Let's see if we can't do something with this. Like that. Yeah, that works, but this bit is just cosmetic, so we don't... We don't necessarily need the armor there. But we do want it there. And then let's come out two more. At least two. Like that. This is what we're going to mount our missiles off of. They're going to 
kind of angle this way. And I think that'll get them out far enough. Uh, we need to come out another one. At least like that. That's cool, that's cool. Okay, what else do we want to do? Maybe one more even. Just to make sure they get out far enough. Yeah, that'll definitely take it far enough. We can actually get rid of this row. Okay, then uh, if we're going to get rid of that row, then I want to get these wedges and do wedges. Uh, I think that's the right one. Nope. We'll get that angle thing going on again. I, that really helps. Okay, there we go. That's the wedge I want there. And we'll put one here as well. I think that's the wedge I want. Yep. Like that. Beautiful. Now let's see. How are we going to build this missile pod? It could be cool. Okay, what if Okay, what if we did this? Let's 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 keep using this uh advanced armor. Cuz it seems it seems to look cool and it differentiates the missile pod from the rest. Uh what if we did something like like it it extends up like this and grips it from the top and then kind of holds them like that. That's a cool idea. Okay, let's uh, let's just build a frame here really quick. Like that. How big do we want these missile pods? Pretty dang big, right? Maybe to there. Come out a few blocks. Okay, let's uh, let's get back to our gray advanced, or I'm gonna I'm gonna build it all out of standard and have to swap it out. And in fact, we'll probably will build it the actual module out of standard hull, but the uh, but we'll build the clamp part, like the structural part here, out of this advanced armor uh, for a little bit of variation. That'll look good. Okay, let's see. So that's cool. Now I want it more angled like this, the whole thing. So how can we make it... What if we come down and then angle it in? Yeah, we'll just do that. We'll come straight down with it. And I'm okay with this being the top of it. We might do... Uh, maybe we come up one more. Yeah, let's come up. Let's do one more. Yes, I like where this is going. I like this missile pod. I like where this is going. Okay, we can remove that because it's just kind of structural. Uh, let's come out maybe four, one, two, three. Let's see how three looks. Do we like the three? It's looking pretty huge and cool. What about from over here? Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I can handle that. And then it's actually going to come out one further like this. And we'll do our wedges. Come on, wedge. Come on, give me the right wedge. Uh, I must have passed over it like four times. There it is. <laughs> okay, and one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. And okay, back to our regular blocks. Now, how far down do we want this to kind of grasp? And do we want it to... Okay, this will be a cool idea. Okay, maybe like that. And then let's do... Um, let's do some like... Is that the one I want? Yeah, let's do like this. Oh, okay. Getting those lined up just perfect is pretty tough sometimes with the uh 
uh, the triangle things. Wedges. Like that. Okay, and that's kind of our enclosure for the missile pods. Now they're going to be at least this long, sticking out in the front, and an, inf an indefinite number of distance in the back because I haven't built them yet. <laughs> Um, all right, I'm going to get to work on those a little bit. Let's get some shape going, and, um, and we'll, we'll, get, we'll get back with another update. Okay, so got a little bit of a shape going. I like this. Uh, it looks like there's two pods. There's a top pod and a lower pod. Um, so far, they extend here just because I had them mirrored, but I think I'm... Let's turn off this. And I think I'm going to cut off the tips here and extend them further. Um, they may be held again by something. This is not uh, enough space for the missiles I want to put on this ship. I mean, it's a pretty big pirate ship, right? It needs more missiles than that. Uh, definitely. So, But I do like the shape um, of the missile pods. Um, I kind of have this cool like cover go in from the top. And I did cover this side as well. I figured this protects our own ship from our own missiles. That that kind of makes a little bit of sense to me. Um, inside is a wreck. <laughs> a twisted mess of, uh, of missile pod. Uh, which is whatever. I mean, that part's all going to be hidden. In fact, I only have ten pieces of gray standard armor. Of black standard. Uh... Because we used all of it on the front. Hmm. I was going to fill this in with the black as well. And I had considered putting some brown around this. But I like the detail of the clamp. Um, like that without it. So I think I'm not actually going to do that after all. Uh, the detail work looks cool. Let's, let's fix this part. Um, whoops. Whoops. So that that detail is not lost. Yeah, 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 yeah. That worked out cool. And we can leave this as a as a as an edge because uh, we have edges here, so it kind of it works nicely. And then this and this. Yes, I like these continuing lines that are uh, that are constant and consistent throughout. We might even continue this shape. Maybe put another one. Maybe here, and another one here. Hmm. We'll figure that out when we get to it. We want to figure out what goes above this. I'm still thinking the window thing would be cool, and especially now that we have missile pods there. Uh, that kind of makes sense. We could put some brown armor over top that. Uh, this is about where I want my bridge to start, though. About maybe here, and then go back maybe a little bit further further back than that. I don't know. That seems about the right proportion, though. About a third of the ship. This is engine bridges and whatnot. Okay. Um. So that is our missile pod for now. Uh, let's take a look at some detailing options that we can do. I've got this black standard armor. I only have 10 pieces of it, uh, but I wonder how... Oh, you know what? We did that red stripe. What if we do that red stripe again? I wonder how that'll look. What if we just do, uh, what if we try it? Let's try it here. Oh man, it looks pretty sharp contrasted against the gray like that. And then we're not going to have enough space to do the, the, the full like two stripes. What if we do the three wide? Uh, I don't like that as much. I liked the off-center one stripe the best. It's kind of like that. Um, I like that the best. Let's go ahead and finish it off. With, uh, with the wedges. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I definitely do. Okay, uh, more blocks here on top. Block, block, block. And I got another wedge. Needs to go that way. Wedge. Oh man, the stripe looks good. Okay. <laughs> uh, and around the back, there's a little bit. Uh, do we get the stripe to go all the way? Heck yeah, we do. We want those, those minute, tiny details that you probably aren't even going to notice. That's what we want. 
Okay, now we need our stripe to be, I think this one, yes. And there, boom, and we got our stripe going all the way around the end, the thing. I like that. It's gonna need some more detail work uh, on these. They're really flat and plain. We'll have to figure out something to do with those as well, but it's definitely a great start going on with our thruster pods. Um, okay, I'm not sure how long I've been recording for. This may end up being a shorter episode, but that's going to do it for today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you like the video, make sure you leave a like and give me a comment. Let me know what you think of the missile pods. Um, you know, should they extend further back, whatnot. Um, also, let me know what you think about the other station. Uh, what should we do about the hangars? Um, you know, I, I want some input there. Let me know what you guys think. Um, until next time, stay tuned.